everybody good morning it is a brand new week and another weekly vlog if you are new here my name is jasmine rosette your favorite girl on the internet and in this weekly vlog i document my weight loss journey showing you guys the ups and downs the ins and outs the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey um yeah, but before we get into this week's vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back, and without any further ado, let's get into this week's vlog. So it's early in the morning, it is 6.30, I think, yeah, 6.31, I need to be at the gym, like, a minute ago and I am going to work out this morning I am dressed in my gym kit I am ready to go um, yesterday I organized my week I'm trying to be better about like blocking out time for things so that I am consistent <laughs> so I think because last week I cleared out, I think I talked about this, I had 40,000 plus emails in my personal email and about 5,000 plus emails in my work email. And I just cleared them all out, did a lot of bulk deletes, a lot of the emails were prom promotional in my personal one, and then for work stuff it was like things that I didn't really need to respond to, um, just like informational stuff. and. Like, if I needed to respond to it, I did, um, but majority of the time I didn't. And now that I'm doing, like, more project-based work, I have to respond to emails now because I'm a part of more projects, which is very exciting. But also, like, I need to be on top of my emails. And so because of that, I decided to just reorganize, like, parts of my life. So I, like cleared out some areas in my apartment that were a little bit cluttered in my opinion minus the kitchen because we don't have a lot of space or storage in the kitchen so couldn't really clear out a lot there um, because we just don't have the storage for it I wish we did though <laughs> to be able to clear out stuff but I cleared out some stuff in the living room and cleared out some stuff in my room and my bathroom as well because I'm just like, you know, I don't need a bunch of excess stuff and I'm pretty minimal anyway, so yeah, clearing out my emails really just motivated me to clear out some other stuff in my home to make it a little bit more cohesive but yeah, so now I'm trying to be even more organized and get back into journaling and having like a diary and putting a to-do list of things I need to get done for the week and really organizing my calendar and all that stuff so yeah I'm trying to do that on Sundays
just got back from getting a prescription and I also needed some other bits while I was there because I was at a grocery store. So I filled up on some stuff because you know allergy season is here and I needed like some nasal spray, some eye drops, but I got my favorite gummy bears by Black Forest. This is like a cleaner ingredient, like you can pronounce majority of everything that's in there. Um, it's still high in sugars, it has a total of 15 grams of added sugar, so it's still very sweet, um, which I really like, but I only had one serving, and one serving is nine pieces, which makes up about 100 calories or something like that, and you get four servings in here. Also, don't mind my makeup. I used a powder, um, that I normally don't use in combination with everything else. I use it, I, I switch between like one powder or another powder. And for some reason I was like, oh, I'll just try both. And it made my makeup so patchy <laughs> and just not cute. But anyways, Ben and Jerry's, that's another thing that I got that I didn't need. Um, ben and Jerry's came out with some non-dairy, more non-dairy flavors, flavors that they've had, such as the Tonight Dough and I've always wanted to try it and this is it and they got they have like the non-dairy one so I'm gonna have a little bit of this it's made with um, almond milk it has caramel chocolate with chocolate cookie swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter cookie dough so I'm gonna have a little bit of that I'll show you how much I get into I'm planning on just having a little bit because I feel like my sweet tooth is you know cured with the amount of gummy bears that I had just now. So I kind of want to do a live taste test because so I've never had this before. The Ben & Jerry's, the Tonight Dough. I just opened it and it looks amazing. Just going to scrape some off the top. First impressions, truly. Wow. Oh gosh, <laughs> almost dropped. You can definitely taste that like chocolate cookie that's here. Like it's so good. It's very sweet, I will say. Yeah, that chocolate cookie is very sweet. I'm trying to see if I can get that peanut butter um, cookie dough. I feel like it's in there. Hold on. Mm. Got the peanut butter. Um, peanut butter cookie dough is good. I don't know if I am getting the caramel. Maybe it's just like in a different spot. Because sometimes, like, when there's multiple flavors going on, it just, like, you might not have gotten to it. And I'm literally still very much at the very top. And it is very frozen. Like, it's so cold holding this in my hand. And it's hot up, like it's not hot outside. I just put the heating on for a little bit because it is cold outside. It's like 43 degrees, but it's like chilly. No, this is good. First impressions, I will say, I like it. I don't know if I've gotten the caramel that's um, in here yet. It could just be in a different spot <laughs> of the ice cream. So it's been a minute and 
it has melted, <laughs> but I have eaten quite a bit. So I'm gonna put this away. I've um, been doing some work for a little bit, but honestly, it's really good. But you can see like, it's very melted. <laughs> I finished the pint. I finished the pint and I had like those two servings of gummy bears, but it was good and I don't regret a thing. It was delicious. But I've had quite a bit of meetings today. Um, yeah, I had to set up a lot of last minute stuff and this project that I'm working on just needed more attention. So honestly, <gasps> Eating ice cream and not trying to like make myself something to eat was just easier and I needed it. I needed it for today. So yeah, had that pint of ice cream. I regret nothing. It was so good. And yeah, I might have some popcorn later um, just because it's quick and easy. I'm just in a very lazy mood. I don't feel like making anything complicated or thinking about like how to assemble something. Like I just don't wanna to have to think about it. So tomorrow will be the day. Tomorrow is a lot less meetings. Well, granted, I have a really early meeting tomorrow, so gotta gotta do that. But anyways. I will chat with you guys later. As you can probably imagine, yesterday after eating a pint of ice cream with gummy bears and oatmeal, I did not feel that great. <laughs> I just, yeah, I realized like eating the ice cream, it was very sweet, but it was just so delicious and I, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that like the amount of sweet things that I have, not even just for like my health, if I have something that is too sweet, it makes me nauseous <laughs> after a while. And I just have to eat very sweet things in moderation or else I will not feel good the rest of the day, which is exactly what happened. I did not feel good the rest of the day, but I woke up this morning. I went to bed extremely late because I was reading manga online, 
but also I was trying to upload a video to YouTube and it just took a while. It took a really long time. Granted, my my video sizes are like an hour long, <laughs> but you know, I try, but I uploaded a new video. So yeah, I am going to be editing more videos this week. I need to film a video that is overdue um, because I received the box last week, I believe. It's the cause box and I have not done a video of like unboxing that i literally it's just sitting in my room i haven't even looked at it opened it none of that so i need to film that portion and get it uploaded for this week hopefully if not then there's gonna be a bake with me video that will go up instead and the cause box video will probably go up the week after anyways i am going to make my breakfast but yeah i, I just wanted to say like I really need to be better about the amount of sweets that I have because ice cream is good. Ice cream is really, really good. But when something is actually very sweet and has a lot of sugar in it, I'm realizing as I'm getting older, my body just can't process it as well. Like I have to take it in smaller portions or because if I don't, I will not feel good the rest of the day. And that's exactly what happened. I just felt kind of nauseous. Like I was fine after like having like, I guess a third of the pint of ice cream. But then I was just like, I don't really want to make anything. I just want to have something easy. And then I had those gummy bears, which the gummy bears were good, but you know, they also have sugar in them. And I just, it was just a sugar overload and my body was just like, girl, we are, we're getting older. We cannot do this like we used to. So yeah. And in other news, I have my hair appointment booked. I think I talked about that for this coming weekend. So I'm going to take out my hair actually tonight. So I'm going to edit a video tonight and then also take out my hair at least as much as I can because this will probably take me a long time to do but yeah the hair is kind of overgrown it's it's two months now this is two months of being in these braids and I need to take them out because it's just not looking right right now I did everything I was supposed to do but I think the last time I got my hair done it wasn't as tight as I'm used to and so I think because it just wasn't as tight it didn't like look the quality of the braids did not look as great this time around but normally they have always been looking great but then I was trying to rebook an appointment with the same place that I've been going to and a couple of their girls left who braid hair there so I'm going to a different salon that's more affordable and it's smaller which makes me feel a lot more comfortable. I just, I like that smaller vibe. Um, not having to worry about like other people. Not that there was really other people in the room. It would, might be like another person who would get their hair done and we were at a distance, but you know, this one is a smaller salon. It's in the same area, so, but her reviews are really, really great. And I'm excited to get my hair done and the rates are a lot more affordable. Hey guys, so I'm really feeling it from the amount of sugars, sweets that I had yesterday. And something that I've realized as I've gotten older is that my body truly functions so much better when I have protein and I have vegetables every single day for at least one meal. And because I had that entire pint of ice cream and then afterwards I just, I lost my appetite. I didn't have protein and I didn't have vegetables like I needed. And I can just really feel it today, like how I'm functioning. My brain feels a little bit more foggier. I feel more tired and it's just because I had 
a really high amount of sweets yesterday. And something that I've also realized is that as I've gotten older, I think I've mentioned this before, my, in terms of like how my body processes processed foods, I have to really be careful the amount that I have because my body just does not function well and it can't process or digest really um, heavily processed foods. Like you guys probably saw it when, in the beginning of this weight loss journey, which is my in my overall fitness journey. I love Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos will always have a place in my heart, but unfortunately I can't have them anymore because they are heavily processed. They are made with cheese and I'm lactose intolerant. So like, I really can't have it. And I just had to become a lot stricter and be like, okay, like I can't have foods that contain, you know, cheese. And there are certain things that like my body does react to um, and certain things that my body doesn't like butter is typically fine. Like in a baked item, like crumble cookie, like they have butter in their, um, in their cookies and they also have milk in their cookies as well. But if I get their cookie that doesn't have like a cream based frosting type of situation on top, I'm perfectly fine. Like I have no issues. Um, I, I don't have a, an allergic reaction or whatever. Like I'm fine, like with eating those things. But if it does like have a cream base, like I can't eat it because um, I will have a reaction. And so I know the things that my body can process and not process, but it's so weird as I've gotten older to understand and realize the things that my body can and cannot handle. And it's interesting because it's happening at a time where I'm gaining a better understanding of my relationship with food and having a healthier understanding of food because at the beginning of this fitness journey slash weight loss journey, I had a very unhealthy relationship with food and that I would restrict myself or then I would eat too much. Um, and I just, I feel like I'm at a, at a place now where I understand that food is food and food can give you energy. And the only difference that food has for me personally is clean ingredients and ingredients that are not as clean. So like Van Leeuwen is an ice cream brand where you can see all the ingredients that are used in their ice cream and you know how to pronounce every single thing and not worry that you're getting these gums or preservatives and dyes and stuff like that in your ice cream. You don't have to worry about those things. Whereas with a lot of different brands, like you do have to worry about those things because they have a lot of preservatives in them. And... I think like as I've gotten older, my body, I've, I've been more attracted to learning more about like cleaner ingredients when it comes to food. Like I still want to have sweets, but if I can have like a, a cleaner option, I, I will definitely try to go for it. Um, and not everything I can do that with because not everything has that availability or the affordability to be able to do that. But yeah, it's just, there's a lot of things that I'm realizing and I feel like my perspective with food and how I'm thinking about it and also realizing that like I had internalized fat phobia and I just need to understand that fat is not a feeling and I need to be more gentle with myself. It's just been really eye-opening and a really cool journey to be on, but also like necessary. And I'm glad that I've been open and honest with my weight loss journey of just like how I feel in those moments of like not feeling so great or, um, you know, trying to change things within my diet so that I can lose weight and all this other stuff. And it's just like, that's, that is honest. And that is really what happened. But I am, I want to have like a more positive outlook. And so I'm definitely trying um, and understanding that like, yes, I'm on this weight loss journey, but I need to be gentle with myself and love my body where it's at. And understand that my body can do so much for me right now. And that in itself is amazing. And even when I do lose, you know, the the desired weight that I want to lose, like that body is also going to be amazing and do so much for me then, as much it is it is doing for me right now. So to I need to appreciate where I am in, in all stages of this journey, because truly it is a journey. And although the weight loss 
portion of that journey is during this time, it doesn't mean that my fitness journey of me staying active and, you know, having goals for when I'm in the gym and stuff like that is going to stop because I still want to do a pistol squat. I still want to do a lot of push-ups. I still want to push myself in the gym physically so I can feel stronger and feel that strength, but also understanding that it's not about having these aesthetic goals. And I'm also realizing that I'm letting go of my aesthetic goals and understanding that like I can't have these unrealistic expectations of what I want my body to look like when I finally lose the weight. I just need to understand that like my body is my body and it's doing the best that it can and I need to love and treat it with respect where it's at currently.
vegetables of that entire meal that you just saw were off because they smelled a little bit weird when I was cooking them and I was like oh I'm just not gonna think anything of it like it should be fine then I was eating them and I was like yep these went bad really quickly um, for some reason so I had to throw out the entire pack of spinach and of the criminy mushrooms that I got because they just went bad really quickly so I am having um, one of like my salad kits I'm just having half the bag of that um, instead as my vegetables the salmon I ate that was really good but the mushrooms the spinach like that was just off and I was just like I'm not gonna continue eating this knowing that I could get sick <laughs> from it because I don't like getting sick so that was weird that they just went bad so quickly but yeah that is the update on my food right now <laughs> going to a birthday dinner right now um I don't really plan on getting anything to eat because I'm pretty full so but if I do I'll let you guys know what I get I probably won't take my camera with me just because it is a birthday celebration so there's that um but I do have a early meeting <laughs> tomorrow see my bed is still not made <laughs> i mean it's made but there's still i've been sleeping with like a little bit of laundry on one side of my bed it's whatever my skin looks really good wow i don't really have any makeup on i just have like eyebrows and like a little bit of mascara and then some cream highlight and that's it and i put on a wig because my hair I, I didn't feel like going out with my natural hair. I was just like, you know what? Let's just do a wig. Keep it simple and easy for right now. But yeah, I am going to go. I plan to like help me not buy anything actually because I don't need any food. Um, I'm going to be leaving my card at home. Actually, I don't know how smart that is actually because what happens if something happens to me? 
I'm not gonna leave my card at home. I've done that in the past where I've left my card at home and then taken cash with me, but because I don't have any cash, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my card with me because I don't have any cash with me to like supplement. So, but anyways, it's like really nice outside. It's 70 degrees. And yeah, I mean, it looks a little cloudy on my side, but where I'm going is hopefully should be just as nice, if not nicer in this area. But I'm gonna go to this birthday dinner. I do have to wake up early. That's what I was saying earlier. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning because I have an early meeting, which means that I also need to wake up earlier because I need to work out because I did not work out this morning and I'm trying to work out four to five times a week I'm thinking like four times a week is kind of just like it for me because anytime I think like oh yeah I'm gonna do my fifth week uh, fifth workout on the weekend on Saturday I'm like nah just rest you don't need to do that to yourself and yeah so we'll see how tonight goes little dressed up just a simple black dress <laughs> and my little bag here to match and probably gonna wear some Birkenstocks and I need to spray myself like douse myself in sunscreen that is something that I do I don't know if I've mentioned that I wear sunscreen every day even if I'm inside especially on my face but if I'm going outside specifically a lot of sunscreen so I have sunscreen in the car I have sunscreen all throughout my house so that it's easily accessible for me to apply sunscreen all the time because gotta protect my skin it is the number one like cause of wrinkles and fine lines and I'm not trying to have wrinkles or fine lines I feel like the past couple days my left eye feels like it's been sagging but when I look at it it looks fine but then I'm like is it sagging I don't know anyways I'm gonna be late so I need to be on time I'll talk to you guys later so so I just got back and it is 10 30 I think um, for dinner I had mussels honestly I've been to this place before and I had no idea how fancy the food was for like lunch and dinner because I've gone for brunch and <sighs> Denver has a really big like brunch scene even on the outside outskirts of Denver I'm trying to be quiet because it's really late and I don't want to wake up my roommate with me shouting so hopefully you can hear me but yeah they had mussels and like a chicken wellington and ribeye steaks a bunch of other stuff like risotto except they were out of risotto scallop risotto and so i just had the appetizer which was mussels with beans and it was shared with like several other people so i think i had five mussels total I don't think I've ever had a muscle before. Maybe I have, but it was really good. I liked it. And I had two pieces of bread that were kind of charred. They were really good <laughs> as well. So that was like what I had. And I had half of a scallop because the birthday girl was like, would you like some? And I said, yes, which is really nice of her. Um, to share a scallop with me so yeah and that is all I had tonight for dinner um, the last meal whatever so really fancy food <laughs> mussels and scallops and bread the essentials <laughs> Not the essentials, but they were really good. You've been on my mind lately. I tell you all the time, baby. You make me feel fine when you got your hands in. Fine. When you got your hands in mine
Good morning, guys. Just finished my workout. I'm wearing my Appa hat, <laughs> um, the airbender hat that my friend Cub got me. Thank you, Cub, if you're watching. And yeah, I'm just doing my jade rolling this morning, I'm trying to get back into this habit because I just really neglected depuffing my face and, you know, it's a nice little self care moment. But gonna be honest with you guys <laughs> I'm on my period and the pain <laughs> is just insane I'm in so much pain <laughs> I could honestly cry but it's not like there's pain where like you really do cry where you're like I can't help it like there's nothing I can do but cry but then there's pain where you're just like I, I want to die I don't want to do anything so I really want to get a gua sha just because I'm trying to get back on this thing of depuffing my face in the morning and also like bringing coldness to my face it just it feels really good like it's shocking um at first but then you're like oh my gosh like I needed this and it's just really good. So I go upwards and outwards. Don't drag down. That's what I do. I try to help define my cheekbones and my chin. But yeah, that is uh, how I'm doing today. I really need to wear this hat. It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, it's just a little small for my head when I have braids in. So my braids add a lot of uh, a lot of height um, depth to my to my head. So it makes hats like these like hard to put on because they just don't fit that well. Um, unless I have no braids in, but yeah, skin is looking really good. I've been going really simple. Um, hydrating a lot with my skin but anyways I was going to get coffee this morning but um, like anything that has caffeine in it does not do well with me on periods <laughs> so I really can't oh man but it's not like I need one I just wanted to treat myself today the other day I definitely needed one but I ended up not like making time to have it um yeah i just didn't end up doing it i just powered through but today i was like oh i'm gonna treat myself this morning no but like if the cramps are bad i don't mess with caffeine it's just like it does not make me feel that great at all but anyways i am going to put some sunscreen on get myself some Flonase and do my eye drops for my allergies because allergy season start on a load of laundry and yeah I'll show you guys my breakfast once I finish making it So I took a little bit of time, so my like ice cream melted a little bit, but it's still really good. Um, gonna take a little. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hits the spot. All right, I just got my chai latte with oat milk. Really good. And I had a macro bar, and I'm about to have my apple cinnamon muffin i weigh 223 pounds your girl is getting down which is very exciting but i have like 20 minutes to get to my hair appointment and it takes me 20 minutes to get there literally so i am gonna talk to you guys later when i next eat I am just finishing up. It is 
honestly it's so late um it's like six o'clock it is so late that i'm getting done but she was by herself and she did a really good job but it just took a long time to get done and i am hangry i also did not finish my chai not gonna finish that because that's been sitting in here i also didn't finish my muffin because honestly the chai and the muffin were just very sweet so right now i'm headed to popeyes to get food because i am hangry i was so upset i wanted to cry because i was just like this is taking way longer than she initially initially said and i'm just so hungry i can't talk anymore i'll talk to you when i have food i just got of whole foods so i'll show you that i got my dessert which is this lemon pie i always like take off the frosting because i just i'm not a huge fan of that but i'm also having it with this poppy right here hold on there you go the rose one so that is what i'm having for the remainder of the day and that is it for this vlog i nearly so coming into this parking lot this area um shopping center this guy turned so slow from the middle lane and i was on the right side to be able to turn right and he was in front of me but he was turning in the in the from the middle lane into the right lane like to go in front of me and it was he just took forever but also like could have caused an accident so then i was agitated there besides being on a period besides me previously being hangry and then i trying to throw away like all the stuff that i don't need to take with me into my house because i'm at whole foods they have trash cans outside i trip on the sidewalk guys today has been rough to say the least but anyways we get through it we move i'm ending the week at 223 and i'm ending it with popeyes and lemon pie and a poppy like prebiotic soda where is is it a prebiotic soda i always forget oh it's hard to find in here it is a yeah prebiotic soda Ooh, i'm going to basically turn that over don't want to do that but yeah i am ending this week at 223 if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i appreciate you so much i appreciate all the support um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you in the next one bye Thank <music> you.